champions and welcome back to It's Donnie Wani Time. Donnie Wani is here today with another video. This video is all about trash. My trash, products that I have used up, oh, I guess probably in the last three, four months, let's say. It's been a while since I've done a trash video. So if you're interested in seeing the products that I've used and what I think about these products and how they worked for me, then you know what to do. Just keep on watching. Yeah! Keep on watching. Okay, so like I said, these are products that I have used up. I've got skin care, hair care, body care, <clears throat> um... Some things worked for me, some things didn't. I'm going to just run through it right quickly um, because my husband and I are going to a concert tonight. We're going to see Mary J. Blige and we're also going to see Maxwell who is with Mary J. Blige. And I'm so excited to go to this concert, I don't know what to do. But I'm also going to be doing a Get Ready With Me. So that video will be coming sometime after this one in the same week. Okay, so we're going to move right on into it. So let me put my little girlfriends on because you know I have to have my girlfriends. How y'all doing today? I hope y'all are doing wonderful, wonderful. Y'all know um, I posted a video on um, Sunday where my daughter was the, uh, the guest of the show, I guess you, guess you could say, or the star of the show. So we didn't have Chit Chat Sunday. It was a different kind of video, but it was kind of Chit Chat, but then it wasn't. But anyway, if y'all haven't seen that video, I'm going to link it somewhere up here in the sky, and it'll also be linked in my description box. So now we're going to get started with the reason why we're here. Okay, so all of this. Okay, so the first thing, I'm not going in any particular order, although I do have them categorized by the category that they fall in. So we're going to go into the face products first. So the first thing I have here is I have the, a sample of the Fresh Soy Conditioning Eye Makeup Remover, and that's what that looks like. And y'all know the Fresh Line is a very good line. This was the eye makeup remover with smoothing mallow extract. Removes waterproof makeup. I did enjoy using this product. Um, at some point in time, it'll be a while because y'all know I just hauled a bunch of skincare products and stuff like that. But um, when I run out of eye makeup remover, I will consider using the Fresh. It didn't tug on my eyes. It did remove my waterproof mascara. So that's a plus because that's one of the claims. And I did enjoy using it. It was very, um, it wasn't harsh to my eyes. It didn't burn my eyes. So that for me is a plus. Um, but there are other products out here that are cheaper than the Fresh brand. I will say that to you. You can get them in the drugstore. And um, they are much cheaper. So this would be like, you know, just a luxury item that I may want to try. But I did love it and I will consider repurchasing. Well, purchasing. <laughs> okay, moving on to the next sample I had. I had the Tarte Deep Dive Cleansing Gel. And that's what that looks like. Now, currently, I have this cleansing gel in my rotation in a full size. When, this, um, when these products launched back here up in the summer, I, I tried several other products, and I must say that I did um, enjoy this deep dive product. It was very gentle on the skin. Um, I believe that sensitive skin people could use this with no problem. It didn't leave my skin feeling dry where it had sucked out all the oil out of it. So that again for me is a plus. So I have already purchased the full size of this and I just rotate because I don't want my skin to just get really, really accustomed and used to using the same skincare products all the time. So I roast, they, roast consistently, excuse me, rotate things in and out. So this is currently in my rotation and I will repurchase. Okay, now the next thing I have is, this was a single, it's called the Kleenex brand Facial Cleansing Wipe. Freshly washed skin in just one step. And that's what that looks like. Now... They're professing this to be a makeup wipe. It says use wipe in place of your regular facial cleansing routine to remove impurities and makeup, including waterproof mascara. 
it worked okay as a facial wipe. What I really enjoyed, and as y'all can see, it's kind of dirty, but I wanted to save it for this video. But this is the cloth. This is the size of it. It was very, very, very saturated. And as you can see, it's very thick and 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 plushy like. So I did uh, enjoy using the cloth per se. Um, it was just a simple little makeup wipe for me. But I can tell you what really helped me a lot with it. It says that it's... Uh, exclusive combination of multi-layered textured fabric, which it is a textured fabric, and a gentle cleanser infused with a pro-vitamin complex. It did not dry out my skin, and it was soothing to my skin. But pretty much what I use this for, not necessarily for removing my makeup as a makeup wipe, which I did use it for that, but at the time I was having a serious hot flash going on, and this really helps. I kept it in the refrigerator because I, that's what I intended to use it for when I received this sample and it really 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 did help calm down that hot flash um, but it did like a, it, it, it is a makeup removing wipe so it will remove your makeup but I enjoyed using it and I'm just not sure if I will purchase this because it's the Kleenex brand it's probably more pricey than um, um, makeup wipes that I can use for little or nothing so but it was okay so moving on, I have the Elf Studio Makeup Remover Cleansing Cloth. That's what the packaging looks like there. And this, it removed the makeup, it didn't dry out my skin, and it was cheap. So this is a cheap alternative. As a matter of fact, I purchased it from Marshalls for $1.99, if you can see that. But I purchased it from Marshalls for $1.99. I think they run probably about $3 on the website. But it did the job. It didn't dry out my skin. And that's my concern. I do not want it to suck all of the oil, natural oils that I have in my skin. So it worked out okay. I will repurchase these. The next makeup cleansing wipe I have is called a moisturizing facial cleansing wipe. Removes dirt, oil, and makeup leaves skin silky smooth for all skin types, alcohol free. And that's what this looks like. It's a generic brand type that, as you can see, was on clearance for a dollar at Walgreens. And that's the reason why I picked it up because I figure if it doesn't work for my face, I can always use it for swatching. So pretty much that is what I use this for, is for swatching. I wasn't too um, I wasn't too impressed with it for a makeup wipe. Uh, first of all, because I think I have a pack open here. The wipes are very, they're not all that, hmm, they're kind of thick, but for me, it didn't really remove the makeup from my face. I had to use several wipes to get the makeup off my face. So for that purpose, that's why I switched to using it for swatches. And as you can see, I keep it in my drawer so that I can use it for swatches. So if I ever see these again for a buck, I mean, you get, uh, you get like 30 or so in here, maybe 25. I'm not sure, but I will always buy these just to use for swatching. And then I, the next thing makeup wipe I have is the Global Beauty Care Makeup Cleansing Wipes Green Tea Extract. I purchased it from Marshalls for $1.99. There were 30 wipes in this pack, and that's what it looks like. So, yes, I do enjoy this particular brand. They, um, they do remove the makeup. They don't dry out my skin. Um, and... It's filled with vitamins A, C, E, and E. So that's good for your skin. It also, this particular one has um, aloe in it. So that's very good for your skin as well as for calming. And it helps with calming down your skin. Um, I, like again, I enjoy using these. I purchase these a lot when I see them. I have them in much bigger packs and I have them in the smaller packs. And again, these are thicker wipes. Um, and I'm just going to give you a tip on your wipes. When you store your wipes, if you store them upside down versus right side up, but upside down, they will stay moist to the very end because then that way the, 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 the solution that's in the pack will filter down to the top and that way you always pull out a nice moist wipe. So these are always a repurchase for me. Next wipe I have is the Dickinson Original Witch Hazel Daily Refreshing Clean Cleansing Wipes. And that's what that looks like. Y'all know I hauled this back in the summer. 
I had the sample. What started me on these, I had it in a, a in a, either Sephora Play Box or an Essence Beauty Box. I had a sample of it and I tried it and I really, really enjoyed it. Now, I like the Dickinson's Witch Hazel Toner. Um, that's an old, Dickinson is a very old brand. They have very good skincare products. And so once I finished the little sample I had, I did purchase. I have purchased it several times and I do enjoy using these. And they do remove your makeup without drying out your skin. As you know, Witch Hazel is very good for your skin. And then moving on, I have three packs of the Beauty 360. Uh, premium cotton rounds with two textures. These I purchased from CVS. I love them. They're oval. They don't fall apart when you use them. I can use them under my eye. I can use them to tone my face. Um, I really enjoy using these and I will continue to repurchase. I generally get these on sale and I buy them in bulk when they're like buy one get one free or you get three for a dollars or something of that nature. But I really do uh, enjoy these oval rounds. One side is just like the plain round. The other side is textured and more for like exfoliating so yes i have always used these and i will continue to repurchase these okay now we're going to move into concealers and eyebrow products i have used up four concealers as you can see right here two of them are the maybelline fit me Y'all know everybody likes the Maybelline Fit Me concealers, and so do I. I am no different. I use them for carving out my eyebrows. I use it for highlighting under my eye, concealing under my eye after I've color corrected. They're very creamy. A lot of people say that they this reminds them of the NARS uh, concealer. What is it called? The NARS Creamy Concealer. Um... I wouldn't say that it's exactly like it. It's not a dupe for it, but it is a very good uh, concealer that you can get in the drugstore and at Ulta. So I have already repurchased these and am currently using them in my routine. The next concealer I have is from Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place flawless wear concealer and it is in the color medium deep 04 and that's what that looks like and so yes I do love this concealer have already repurchased it now you know you can pull the little stoppers out of these things and get all of the product out but I pretty much got all of the product out of here that I wanted to use I purchased this on Holt look as well so Keep an eye out because Estee Lauder products are sometimes on Holt look. But it is a very, very good concealer. Um, it does stay in place all day long once you set it. And um, I just enjoy wearing it. It did not crease on me. And for that, that's a very good thing. Then the final concealer I have is by CoverGirl. It's the Invisible Concealer. And I didn't really like this concealer. It really didn't do anything. It kind of like swept away, you know. Um, it would come off when I would have tried to set it with my setting powder under my eye because that's pretty much where I use concealer is under my eye after I color correct. Um, it creased on me, so I ended up finishing it up carving out my eyebrows. That's a good tip, guys. If there's a concealer that you use, that you've purchased, that you don't really like on your face, try using it to carve out your eyebrows, and that way you'll get use out of it um, because it will work for that. So I will not be repurchasing that concealer. Now, moving on to eyebrow products. My ride or die tried and true drugstore product is the Jordana um, eyebrow pencil. And as you can see, I've used it down as far as I can go. Let me show you what a full size of it looks like because I have it. This is the full size. It's called the Fabu Brow Eyebrow Pencil. It's very, very good for your eyebrows. It's not real waxy. It's not real creamy. And it's in Walgreens. And I think these run like two or three bucks. So you'll always see this in my trash if I have used it up. The next eyebrow product I have is the Milani Shape Clear Waxing. Well, 
wait, Milani Brow Shaping Clear Wax. And this is just a wax you put on your eyebrows. I'm not quite through with this. I don't know why I had it in my trash, but I figured I'd tell y'all about it anyway. It's going to go back in the drawer so that I can use up as much of it as I can because I am not a person that likes to throw things out that still got a bunch of product in it. And I just sharpened it, as you can see, and I got plenty of wax. So this is going back in my rotation. But I really, really, really enjoyed this wax. And it helps to keep my brows in place. And that specifically is what waxes are for on the eyebrows. So that is already a repurchase that I have already made. And then the final eyebrow product that I have is by NYX Eyebrow Pencil. And this is what it looks like. I'm not a fan of this one. I'm not a fan at all. And as you can see, there's plenty of product. Um, what I found is that it's very, very drying and you have to tug. It's very hard. You have to tug. You see what I'm saying? You see how I had to, I'm, I'm like scraping this across just to get it to come out. And for that, that's why it's still a lot in here. Um, I just can't do, I just can't put up with tugging on my face with any product. So, um, it's very waxy and very drying. So this is why it's in the trash and it will be thrown out with the trash <laughs> okay moving on to the face products that i have i have four face products i have the black radiance translucent powder it's a translucent press powder you see i've hit pan y'all know i love this for setting my under eye area and setting any type of cream on my face this is very um brown girl friendly because it's like a very light peach color so you don't get that stark white up underneath your eyes i will continue to purchase this product this is also a drugstore product that is not more than five dollars you can purchase it on their website or wherever black product black radiance products are sold so yes love it love it love it moving on i have the it bye bye under eye corrector concentrate cream that's what I looked like. I purchased this about almost two years ago. Used it every single day for correcting. That's what it looks like on the inside. You see I have used it completely up. I love it. I am in the color Rich. It's a very good under eye corrector. Um, it's very creamy. And it doesn't, for me, it didn't, didn't settle into the bags and fine lines that I have under my eyes. But I will tell you that you do need to, to set it right away. Because the longer you wait with this one, it will begin to creep and crevice into your fine lines. And that's why you need to set it right away. But I have already purchased this and it will be going into my rotation. Now, the next two items I have are e.l.f eyeshadow and eyeliner pots and it's the collaboration they did with Disney a while back and I didn't like these at all I this one's in the color what is this in the color beast and as you can see it's like a creamy it's a creamy formula eyeshadow that you can use as an eyeliner um, but it it, it um, creased I don't care what primer, that's what it looks like there. I don't care what primer I use with it, it's creased. Therefore, that's why it's still a full pot almost. And then the other one that I have is named Belle. And it's the same, you know, this came out, I want to say, earlier this summer. That's what it looks like. They're beautiful colors, which is the reason why I picked them up, but they creased on me. Y'all let me know down below if y'all, see there's that gold right there. I mean, they're just beautiful, but they just crease on me. And I, I, you know, for eyeshadows, I already have issues with creasing. Um, so they just didn't work for me. And that is the reason why they are in the trash. I probably will never, ever purchase any more from this line, this collaboration with Elf and Disney because of that.